Wow, I look pale. Coastal weather is so funky. Like behind me, there's blue sky. And then we come up to this viewpoint. Look at this. You can just see. You can see it like rolling in super quick. I'm in a cloud. Got my head in the cloud. Such a dreamer. We're gonna do the St. Perpetua Trail, which should lead us to the top of Cape Perpetua. And then we're gonna walk all the way down to the visitor center, walk along a beach and go see some tidal pools and stuff. So it's gonna be a good hike. We actually have some semblance of hiking gear on today, which feels good. It feels good to be back feels good using to, like, the legs. Move more than like two, like we probably hiked like in combination like two miles yesterday with getting out of these. Spots. Yeah, like if that. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be hiking like six miles or something today. <laughs> and uh, it's just so we're gonna be looking out for some <laughs> awesome views like this one. Atlanta's saving the environment one tree at a time. Done is the St. Perpetua Trail. We made it to the visitor center. Now this lovely trail that we're on is the Cape Cook, Captain Cook Trail. What was it? I think it was Captain Cook. Captain Cook Trail. Captain Hook Trail. And this, <sighs> this is a trail that has a bunch of different little tide pools. And we're gonna go explore them and see little creatures. I love tide pools. I love when you see starfish. Salal berries. Always welcome, non-trail. You can eat these guys, they're kind of like a blueberry, cranberry kind of mix. That one in particular, not the sweetest one. It's a, it's a little bit hit and miss with these berries, as are many berries, especially when you're just picking them off a trail like this. why tide pools are so cool and just like so mind-blowing at times is Alan and I are walking by and look at this there's this little tiny crevice in the side of this giant rock and it has and there's like a one, whole little ecosystem in there two three four crabs one or two different kinds of anemones and just to give you a feel for how small this little ecosystem is. That's so freaking cool. They're just tucked away. They have their own little like apartment in there. It's adorable and fascinating. All wrapped up into one little cavernous rock. The explorer is done exploring tide pools. I'm a starfish hunter. She's seen all of the tide pools. All of them. Me as well. I don't no. think I explored as much as you. But I saw all of them. You, see, you win. And now it is time to head up yonder. Here, I'll, I'll just give you a boost and I'll throw you. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I look pale. We found a little turnout on the way down to Oregon Dunes and the Coos Bay area. It's the Hesita Head Lighthouse. We decided we're not gonna Well, 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 well.
I owe you guys a bit of an explanation because that night was a little crazy. To make a long story short, I ended up in the hospital and found out why it's important to have travel insurance even when you don't think you're gonna need it. You think that like on a hiking trip, you're gonna end up in the hospital because of breaking your leg or like some wilderness thing happening where you're going to like chop up wood and you cut your hand or something more Survivor Man-y kind of crazy like that. But turns out you can just eat a bad sandwich or salsa. I think it was the salsa because now when I smell salsa, ugh, and end up with like an insane amount of food poisoning to the point where like I was in so much gut pain that I was just sitting in the fetal position at our campsite, just hopping in and out of the car to, without getting in detail, spew from both ends. It was not a good time. Luckily, there was a hospital nearby. I thought I had appendicitis. That's what they thought it was at first. But after a couple days of resting, turns out it was just really, really bad food poisoning. As you can see though, I have gotten significantly better since then. I am home and healthy. And luckily I was healed after like two days of rest. So the road trip did not end there. It kept going and we had so many more fun times after, which I'm working on uploading for you guys as you are watching this. I also wanna make a more detailed video of this incident and kind of lay out what insurance we were on, why it was important, how much it costs had I not pay insurance because it was an insane amount. I finally got the bill like two weeks ago. Well, not the bill, I didn't have to pay for it, but I got, I got the whatever you call that and it's just an insane amount. So I'm gonna make a video of that. So if you're new here, subscribe. There's plenty of more informational videos and vlogs and stuff coming from all of these lessons and things that we learned on our crazy whirlwind of a road trip. So I will catch you guys on the flippity flip and uh, see you in the next vlog.